Back as we approach September 11th, the 20 year anniversary of the deadliest terror attack on U.S. soil. Every day this week, we're sharing stories of heart and heroism. On 9-11, first responders at Robbins Air Force Base sprung into action. They never had to respond to a threat, but as a military installation, they did have to sit on standby, ready for any possibility. Caitlin Heck spoke with firefighters on base about that day and how it changed Robbins forever. Anybody that was here that day and any fireman that watches that footage, it's the sound of a pass device going off. At that point, you knew what was wrong. The pass device worn by firefighters signals for help when it doesn't detect movement. And after the towers collapsed, many brave first responders were still. With people throughout the country paralyzed by what they just saw. So it kind of went into business mode at that point of, What's next? What am I going to have to do? Meanwhile, at Robbins Air Force Base, firefighters braced for every possibility. Yeah, the importance of the base and what we protect here has an effect around the world for the Air Force. It made you think, like, you know, what would happen if something similar happened to here? What we would, uh, what would we have to do to keep, keep the people safe? In the days that followed, emotions on base ran high, but security was even higher. Lines of cars stretched down Russell Parkway and Watson Boulevard with Robbins employees waiting to get through new security checkpoints. It used to be you had a sticker on your car, you, you'd get waved in. The heightened security remains the standard at Robbins and inside the gates. Our mission definitely morphed that day. Weapons of mass destruction came on the radar. We're a lot more cautious on responses, looking over our shoulder, just put our head on a swivel, looking for, you know, secondary devices or anything suspicious on responses. And 20 years after the attacks, that sound of stillness motivates them to keep moving forward. We do our best to make sure every day that we come with our game face on and protect what we have to. Caitlin Heck, 13 WMAZ News. And shortly after 9-11, singer Lee Greenwood visited Robbins to sing his iconic God Bless the USA as a thank you to first responders and service members.